everyone and welcome. Happy Sunday. Yes, I said Sunday. I, again, I have Sunday, Monday off this weekend. It is actually morning this time. It is just a little after 1030. I actually woke up at nine. I am somewhat dressed and ready to go out. I still need to pick a bag, but we all know the struggle. It's super real. Anyway, what are we doing today? I love that about you. Stay curious, never change. Today we're going to Aurora, Illinois, and you're like, Caleb, why Aurora, Illinois? Like, that's so random. Like, you're not wrong. It is a little random. However, I wanted to go to the Pottery Barn outlet and buy some boxwoods for our island. Someone in the comments was like, Caleb, you know, FYI, the, the Pottery Barn outlet closed. Yes, it did. You're absolutely right. And thank you for telling me. Otherwise, I would have been in Joliet, Illinois. Like, where's the Pottery Barn? Where's my... Where's my cute, rustic, flea markety looking stuff? Anyway, it is now in Aurora, apparently. Zane did some research and found out that it is apparently in an abandoned, apparently, 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 in an abandoned Best Buy. And that is just where it's at now, in Aurora. Like, it's not even on their website, but like their Instagram is like, oh, here's the abandoned Best Buy. We're, you know, excited to be here. So we're going to go and try and do that. Apparently it's open today, so wish me luck. And also on TikTok, I found a really cute place. It's like a thrift store. They actually had really neat stuff. So I'm super excited about that. I'm like, I just saw the TikTok yesterday. So I'm hoping like not everyone and their brother's been and now the prices are insane because thank you TikTok for ruining literally everything. So we're gonna do that and then maybe hit the outlet. I absolutely love the Armani outlet out at the Aurora outlets. Better, more so, more so than Rosemont. The ones in Aurora actually get like the weird runway stuff more often than not. It's cute whenever we walk in, like the guy that either he runs the store or he works there he like oh you're here and he runs to the back and brings out like something weird that no one else would buy and then i try it on and ultimately buy it anyway guys i need to pick a handbag i'm trying to decide if i want to wear a hat or not and from what i can tell on this this screen it is a hat day 100 and that means i'm going to come home and have hat head for the rest of the vlog for the rest of the day so it's a catch 22 like either i have bad hair all day or really bad hair tonight and it's the last of us episode five i'm super excited i'm gonna have my tissues ready because the henry and sam story they're gonna do us, they're gonna do us dirty. I'm just gonna cry. Um, so I'm trying to decide what bag I wanna carry. I kinda wanted to do my Big Brown Coach Bleaker Tote, if you all remember when I unboxed that in like a random weekend vlog. I, what I really wanted to do, I, there's four bags I've been wanting to carry. I know this is already three minutes and you're probably bored and ready for some B-Real. You know what? I'm just gonna take it in my closet. Let's do that. All right, so bags that I've been wanting to carry, those are all the, the small SLGs that didn't fit. My Coach Bleaker Tote, that's been on my mind, but it really won't work with the outfit I chose. The Givenchy Pandora, that's always a vibe. The Gucci Marmont, or behind it, the Fendi.com. Like I said, I really don't know which direction to go with it because filming, walking around, shopping, do I want to be hands-free? Probably. Do I also want to have like a really cool Fendi.com moment? Yeah, kind of. Always here for it. Anyway, guys, I don't know. I'm going to think about it. Let's go and have some fun. It's going to be a good weekend. Okay, so we're currently en route to this secret Pottery Barn outlet, and this feels sketch. It's a business park. It's a sketchy business park. Oh, there's a police station. I don't feel safe. It's a front. <laughs> Someone's tricked us into here to, to mug us. Oh my goodness. There's not even nice landscaping. Well, it is winter. Everything's dead. <laughs> Unimpressed. This doesn't feel safe. I guess this is it. What a strange little shopping center. These came through the back door. Well, I don't, I, I have yet to see a front door. Oh my gosh, Maurice's, I haven't seen that. Maurice's? Yeah, whatever, I said Maurice's, <laughs> didn't I? Yeah. I needed a mail. That's okay, Mauricio's. Oh, a Hallmark? Did, did we travel back in time? I think we did. Is that an abandoned Ethan Allen? Or used to be an Ethan Allen? Or a lazy boy. 
Oh, yeah, that's getting lazy boy vibes with the arch windows, my bad. Okay, guys, there's the abandoned Best Buy, and they have a Pottery Barn flag. It's Pottery Barn, babes. It's Pottery Barn, babes. Okay, let's go shopping. Just so you guys don't think I'm crazy, you can see it used to be a Best Buy, but it's clearly now a Pottery Barn outlet. Ooh. I hope they have some good boxwoods. <laughs> So Pottery Barn, bus. Um, not really. Not really, we just didn't have a big enough truck for, we found some sectional pieces we liked for the den. So rather than go to Ikea and buy something that's we're gonna throw away, buy something somewhat decent. I know it's Pottery Barn, whatever. However, we are gonna go to a store that's never a bus and that is, obviously. <laughs> All right, I got some really cute stuff in the dollar spot for the island. Oh. So we just had a cute little Target run. Love that for us. We needed pop. We're out of pop. And as you all know, tonight's The Last of Us premiere, so we have to have something good to drink, right? Mm. We had another Starby's tree. Um, instead of wheat, so we have pistachio lattes this morning. This afternoon, it's like warm out. It's like a hot, balmy 53 E3. degrees. E3. Dang. So we got chocolate cream cold brews. This Target, I didn't love. Reminded him of Fort Wayne. If you're a Target connoisseur like I am, then you know that there's different like tracks in the ways that the insides of the Targets are laid out. And this one was laid out exactly like my least favorite one in Fort Wayne, the Jefferson Point Target. I don't love that layout. It's just confusing and it's like left oriented and I prefer the stores that go right. So what I said, don't hate me. Anyway guys, we're gonna go to this thrift store. Hopefully it hasn't like blown up and become TikTok famous and they still have some cute stuff and then we're gonna go to the outlet. So let's go. What'd you get? I love Michael Graves anything and everything, and this is a Michael Graves frame for three bucks. So I've always wanted a boo yacht lamp, but it's a little a little bit tarnished, but super cute. I love the clover shade. This chair and Zane says I can't have it.
right, so we just left Thrift and Dollar and wow, <laughs> you could literally spend the entire day in there, six laps around the store and not see everything. It's, it's that intense in there. But honestly, a lot of really good finds, a lot of honestly really good deals. And I think we're gonna be making this like a monthly, monthly trip. Oh, all right, let's go shop at the outlet. All right, guys, I would call that a success. Yes, my hair's being crazy, it's windy. Welcome to Chicago land. I found what I wanted at Swarovski for half the price, and I got myself something from Duny and Burke. We got Zane's mom something from Duny and Burke, and now we're going to Flat Top, and we're both starving, because all we had for breakfast was a bagel. Starbies. Zane had a bagel, I had the egg bites. So we're dying, so let's go get some food.
so we just ate dinner at Flat Top, which was super good. It was really good. And now Zane has, of course, found a half price books. We've been here before. It's literally like two minutes on the road from the Ew. Flat Top. So we're going to run in, look at some books, and then I'm ready to go home. And then in a couple of hours, Last of Us. I can't wait. <laughs> successful little shopping adventure. I'm gonna change my clothes because I have been wearing this all day and then I will come out and do a cute little unboxing for you guys. All right guys, who's ready for a haul? Okay, so from Target, from the dollar spot, I found these fun little carrots <laughs> and they're gonna go in the American Brilliance Bowl up here on the island and I found a couple of bunnies to go with them. Now I'm already over these bunnies because as I'm moving them around on the island, they're shedding, which is kind of annoying. Okay, so at the world's coolest thrift store, I picked up this Gorham Silver Plate Bowl. It's, yeah, Silver Plate. But Revere Bowls, I mean, they're amazing. They can literally go anywhere in the home. They're just that perfect filler, and they look really good with, like, carnations just kind of piled up in there. They, I promise, Revere Bowls are a thing. It just, it really needs polished, which I need to do. Now, you all know I'm a huge Michael Graves fan, and I found this Michael Graves picture frame just sitting there I'm like three bucks absolutely I snatched that up this next piece I've been hunting for years literally years so these I've had for a while these are the seashell just like little bud vases from Linux and I found these at a Goodwill gosh five six seven years ago and we've had them for a minute I wanted the centerpiece that goes with it Zane hates these by the way so that's why they you've never really seen them out anywhere but I found the centerpiece bowl, and typically this thing goes for upwards of $100 on eBay. I found it for 18 bucks, and I think it's called Linux. I think this is the mermaid. I think they call these mermaids. They look more like dolphins to me. Um, it's the centerpiece bowl that goes with the seashells. They have like this whole collection of like nautically themed classical interior decor stuff. The interior, there is some residue. I think someone who originally owned this had like floral foam taped to the inside of the, the, the bowl there, but it just needs cleaned. And then I need to find a table for this to go on because this is beyond fabulous. 18 bucks. I could have paid well more than that. That was the thrift haul. Then we went over to the outlet. So at the outlet, we went to Duny and Burke. I found at the Swarovski outlet, these are the tiger's ear cuffs and the light, there we go. So I found the fuchsia and the blue. You guys know I have the green and the yellow already. And I, I carried my blue Marmont bag and I was like, you know what? I really wish I had a blue cuff. I had to wear the green one today. So then I bought the blue, found the fuchsia and these you guys were only $20 a piece. They were really ridiculously marked down and they're still $41 on the website. Now, they did tell me that Atelier Swarovski is their, their diffusion line, it's being discontinued. So snatch them up while you can. However, good news, they have more inclusive ring sizes coming because your boy wears a 10, not gonna lie. Very rarely do I find things that'll fit and she did inform me that, that they are going to be adding some, some larger sizes in rings. So get excited folks. Dooney and Burke, you all know I have this odd obsession with Dooney and Burke, and I found this really cute all-weather leather card holder in the color Bone. Bone is probably my favorite vintage color. Do I have anything vintage other than my it collection? No, not anymore. I used to, I think, once upon a time. Anyway, so then we went to dinner at Flat Top and ended up at half price. I mean, I don't know why I'm telling you, you guys just saw it. Zane found the fourth kind on DVD. Apparently we didn't have it. And I just want to see what the fuss is about. So I bought Prince Harry's book and so handsome. I'll catch up on all the hot gossip, but not bad for a little haul. Oh, and in here, Zane's mother, Laura, if you're watching, we bought you a bag. So don't go to Dean Burke for a minute until we give it to you. All right, let's watch Last of Us.
All right, guys, happy Monday. And what a Monday it's been so far, it's been glorious. Today, like, what are you wearing, Caleb? We loved it on you, thank you. Well, as you can tell, this is why I don't often wear red. It really brings up my pink undertones, but this is from when, not this most current time, like the last, last time, probably two times ago, actually, when tie-dye was in. It's a very old sweatshirt. I found this when we were cleaning up my knits. Minute wear. Anyway, so what have we done today? Um, well, as you saw, they made glorious homemade pancakes. Oof, I just got out of the shower, obviously. And we watched the Pamela Anderson um, documentary on Netflix. And frankly, I'm ready for her to make a comeback. I would love a Pamela Anderson comeback moment. I think she's fabulous. Anyway, she recently did a What's in My Handbag for Vogue. You know, the little YouTube series where they have different celebrities come on and, and I just think she's fabulous. Also, aside from that, I am trying to shop for a vintage Judy and Burke bag to go with my new card holder. I mean, obviously, this is the chicken or the egg. I should have bought the bag first and then bought a corresponding card holder. But when it comes to vintage Judy and Burke all weather leather pieces, my favorite color is bone. If I had to choose between like Vintage Coach or Vintage Dooney, Dooney and Burke Vintage, like 80s, 90s, that wins hands down every single time. Like the leather, the, the British tan trim, the preppy equestrian style, it's like, it's it's giving, you know, East Coast vibes and I'm, I'm here for it. Like, don't get me wrong, I love Vintage Coach. Like we're talking like the, the unlined, thick, like 80s, 90s coach, not like the re-crack off era. We all know I love that era of coach, which I guess is verging on vintage. Oh God, I'm old. Anyway, guys. Oh my gosh. Okay. And I forgot to tell you guys about The Last of Us last night. Okay. Another amazing episode. Again, though, I was really hoping that they wouldn't stay true to the source material. I didn't remember how Sam and Henry's story ended, but it was heartbreaking. I, I really loved both characters and I was kind of hoping they'd let but I was really hoping that they'd kind of be along for the story and <sighs> killed me. Little Sam was just a cutie patootie. I don't know. It was it was a hard, hard episode to watch. Again, Last of Us, they are killing it with the storytelling. Anyway, guys, Last of Us, amazing HBO Max. Like, it's worth the monthly payment. Trust me. It's so good. Zane and I are about to go get some Starbies. I mean, the third Starbies trip of the weekend and go for a little walk. And I just need to put on something casual, but I still want it to be fashion forward. And let me ask, is this too much? Hi, my name's Caleb and I'm a Swarovski addict. <laughs> Would I actually wear this? Uh, this much might my, my ears hurt a little bit. So maybe not for a full day, but I have to admit, it's kind of a vibe, all that color. We're here for it. I like it. Picasso. Zane, tell the crowd about your bad decision. Oh, because uh, <laughs> it was so warm in the apartment, I decided to order an iced, no, I got a cold brew. Yes. Pistachio cold brew. Yum. Mistake, because it says it's 50 out here, but I ain't 50. It doesn't feel 50, you guys, and we're wearing shorts. So we're heading right back to the apartment to change. These sunglasses really break the fourth wall. Those are from ASOS. ASOS, Jeepers Creepers, actually. I feel like bravo, bravo, bravo. I'm like totally <laughs> ruining the... 
<laughs> the vibe. Like, yeah, I'm holding my phone up like a weirdo in the middle of a park. Love that for me. Okay, we get it. I have Versace. I didn't want to change. Anyway, guys, we're going back. I'm freezing. <laughs> Alright guys, so that is the end to the weekend, sadly. I wanted to share with you all that I just maxed out my Uncharted Online profile. I'm now level 90, which is the highest you can go. Poor guy. I know. Why 90? Like, just make it 100. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, that's all she wrote. I'm gonna, gonna get ready, head to bed, and tomorrow starts a new week. But, come back on Sunday. I, I think I've got a fun video planned for you guys, so don't miss it. Anyway, Thanks for joining us this weekend. We hope you guys had a fun weekend as well. And until next time, stay safe, have fun. We'll see you guys on Sunday. Bye. <laughs>